Okay, so I'm in Turkey and we're checking out the seven churches in Revelation, going to them as a prophetic assignment. After so much has happened both in the nation and nations, I just sense the Spirit of the Lord. I'm on this prophetic journey, like I told you about seven churches, Revelation, and then going uh, from there to another assignment, and then several weeks out still, gonna be going to Noah's Ark, and so here we are. Um, I'm over here, and this is, um, this is the sea that Paul the Apostle would have come to Ephesus on. He would have come into Ephesus this way, entered the city, and uh, today we were at Ephesus, and I'll tell you, it's just a very profound time. And part of the reason I'm doing this is not only to be with Rick Renner and so many of my wonderful friends uh, in ministry, it's truly, I sense this divine prophetic assignment of 40 days um, up till Pentecost and after the solar eclipse thing, 40 days. And, and then we go to Noah's Ark. And I believe these are prophetic implications we're in a time of prophetic implication. And so, isn't that beautiful to see? And uh, we're just popping through here for a moment, but um, I just wanted to show you. But I believe the Spirit of the Lord, look at this very busy area. The Spirit of the Lord is looking to get everybody's attention in the nations right now. And um, I have a strong sense on this assignment that we're on that we are to continue bringing a now word and I'm, I'm just seeking him. I believe I'm on a, a journey to release a prophecy or a prophetic word. I had a vision just recently and I shared this a little and I'm still praying. Yeah, this is biblical. But I saw seven years, seven years. And the sun's going down here, <laughs> seven years. And I went today and I'll be showing clips about it. And we'll show you more. But I went today to the home and the burial place of John the Revelator, of John the Apostle. And the Spirit of the Lord began to speak to me. Because he stood there in Ephesus, John did, overlooking the temple of Diana or Artemis and the worship that they were doing. And he was there. And he went to Island of Patmos, then he comes back and in that home, overlooking the temple of Artemis and with an earshot of the things getting wild up there of the Colosseum not the one in Rome but but a Colosseum where Christians lost their lives he could hear that as he was penning first second and third John and the book of Revelation after his time on the island of Patmos. And I stood where John's home was and where they buried him. And I believe the Spirit of the Lord is saying that it's time to begin to act like John, knowing how much God loves you. You've got to remember John the Apostle was the one who said really plainly, he said it plainly, that he was the one the Lord loved. They even called him that. You're the one the Lord loves. And I believe it became a complex for John that even in the time where they boiled him in oil, burned him in oil, tried to, the tri that where they tried to get him to stand against God and all this, and John wouldn't do it. John was on this seat right here. And I went to his home today. And I believe the Lord is saying to many of us right now, if you have ears to hear, it's time to begin to realize how much God loves you, how much your love to the Lord.
and it's a revelation that will repel harm, death, difficulty, until your time. And I'm telling you, God's making a way. So I'm just here, and um, John the Revelator is a very serious character for me. And we started out with him today. And I've got a lot more places to be and divine appointments. And I, I'm on an assignment from the Lord. And I want to thank you for praying with us and agreeing with us. Um, I sense the Spirit of the Lord speaking to me and to many of you through this journey I'm on, leading all the way to Noah's Ark and uh, right up to the day of Pentecost. But I know the Spirit of the Lord is speaking, and so I'm just blessing you. I just pray for you. Jesus loves you, and there's nothing you can do about it. The Lord Jesus, I say grace, grace to you, more grace to you. That the peace that passes understanding. You know, I just did a live broadcast with Daystar. Our, fr our friends and family <coughs> at Daystar. And they were asking on the broadcast, Joseph, what is the Lord saying about this time? The answer is, we're in this 40-day word. And I don't know that it's literally 40 days, but it's like a 40-day word to repent, to turn, to change the thing that's going on in our nation, just even through humbling. And I believe the Lord is helping us. Because I keep seeing this word seven years, seven years, seven more years. Now, it might not be a pleasant seven years, but I see seven years where the Lord is doing a work. Thank you, Jesus. And I believe the best days are yet to come. I think we're in for a shaking. But I think that uh, God is really working with you and he's going to take you all the way through in your destination. Don't you fear what's going on. Don't fear what's going on in the culture. Lean into it with all your might. Act in faith. But I believe there's going to be surprise turns, surprise returns, surprise deliveries of victory. Because Jesus is Lord. Hey, be praying for us. We got a lot we're um we're doing. We got a lot we're doing, a lot that um, God's putting in our path right now. And we truly need your prayers and agreement. Because the Spirit of the Lord, I know is calling us to a higher level of media and a higher level of these things. And so we're just believing God for you and all that. So from over here by Ephesus, near Ephesus right now, the first church of the seven, I bless you. This, is, this would be the ocean, the sea that Paul would have came in on to Ephesus. It's the same ocean that they took old man, Apostle John, and took him to Rome. in front of Domitian and he outlasted them all and I believe that's a word right now that you'll outlast them all many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers you from them all Jesus loves you there's nothing you can do about it we love you so if you're standing with us supporting us as we're going to these places and praying and on this prophetic assignment thank you thank you so much and I hope you do I hope you go to josephz.com become a partner Stand with the ministry. We're standing with you. And if you do, our team calls you. I encourage you to do that. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I bless every person right now. I thank you for our partners. I thank you for our friends. I thank you for our viewers. I speak peace and favor over you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Do you know what's really going on? The times are veiled there's a lot of veiling happening and the spirit of the lord is making a way to discern the times <laughs> people are asking joseph are you tired well yeah we're we're jet lagged we <laughs> um it's nighttime and it's morning for us but uh, we've got a lot more to do and a lot going on it's a privilege it's a privilege to work for jesus and it's a privilege to have your support 
So I'll be live again as much as I can. I'll, I'll be giving you updates. All that. Isn't it beautiful? I'll show you one more time. Isn't that beautiful? Jesus is Lord. Thank you, people are saying this. I had this testimony on Daystar. Thank you. <laughs> it's interesting being in Bible lands when you see what they saw. Things happen when I pray in these kind of places. And I get the mind of some of the guys who wrote the books we read, <laughs> the best-selling one, the Bible. But reading that and seeing what they said, what John said in Revelation and being here, pretty powerful. I'll be sharing a lot more on it, probably this whole week. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for praying for us. We're praying for you. And I believe in for that million for a billion to change the world, to leave our dent, to leave an impact on this culture. Jesus is Lord. Well, you guys, I love you. I just want to say hi. I just want to be here. I'm praying. Uh, I got some team with me. I got a lot of team at home taking care of a lot of things. We got more team helping us out. And so just thank you for everything. On a bad day, you're anointed to be the best there is. Thank you for your prayers. I bless you. Well, I'm over in Turkey by Ephesus. We will be doing more in the next few days. If I can show you more, I will. Hope you stay with me in the next few days. If, you, if I go live the next few days, I hope you guys will stick with me because I'll, I'll show you a few different sites as we're going and praying. Lord, I just lift up the United States. I lift up this nation. I lift up every nation. I lift up every viewer right now in the name of Jesus. That the peace that passes understanding will guard your heart and mind and lead you and guide you into all truth and the destiny that God has for you. We just happen to be in a very beautiful location as we're going to the next one. So, I love you guys. Thank you for standing with us. JosephZ.com. I hope your partner today will be calling you. I'll be in touch. I love you all. Please repost this. See you soon.